Hey everyone, uh, we're live. Don't we didn't go anywhere. Sorry, it's been a minute since we posted on here. The last video we posted on here, uh, the future of SCP Class R, was back on March thirtieth, twenty twenty-four, and uh, in that we discussed, you know, like the potential future of uh, Class R and everything like that, or and the and our SCP films as we move forward. So uh, we figured we'd come on here and we would uh, update you all on some things. So, uh, SCP Class R passed 50,000 views, which I still, like, can't believe. It's awesome that we've hit 50,000 views. We've actually hit 60,000 views. We're actually at 64,000 views right now. And we are nearing 4,000 likes overall on uh, SCP Class R. And just to everyone out there, to all the new people, to everyone who's checked this out, and everyone who will check this video out, thank you all so much for for adding to just our confidence in terms of making this channel more of a regular thing for us. Uh, we want to get back into the making of, uh, of content on this channel now, and we are going to be continuing uh, the development of SCP Class R, but I want to branch out and do other things. Um, specifically, there's an idea I wanted to run by all of you all. Um, what would you all think about, uh, this is my idea, there's all these creepy story readings on YouTube. You know, like r slash no sleep, r slash, uh, you know, scary stories, stuff like that. Uh, you know, like Mr. Nightmare stuff. And while those are all well and good, and, you know, uh, I think that we can definitely add something to those ourselves, given the crew that we have and given uh, our you know, what's at our disposal, I would like to try and do some shorts uh, on here based around some of those online stories, uh, complete with like full scripts, you know, like speaking parts, stuff like that. It's not just going to be someone reading over top of it, but instead it's going to be like more like organic storytelling through, through like filmmaking instead of just clips with someone reading over top of it. Kind of like fears to fathom, but like for film instead of uh, exactly. making a game. So. Ex exactly, and and while you know I love the fears to fathom franchise, we've actually been playing through it on the Scaredy Kate channel. Uh, we still need to edit the uh, the uh, uh, Outlook or the Outpost one. You know the one with like the fire the Firewatch one. Uh, that one has uh, <laughs> that one uh, I've had in the docket for a while, and I I had an editor who was working with us, but he has just been way too busy. So I might try to edit it myself. We'll see. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a really, really good one. But we were thinking about doing something akin to that, where we tell story, or where we tell stories through filmmaking, and we do these stories, and we of course give proper credit to the people who's who uh, posted them, and you know all uh, just like SCP, we are going to give proper credit and everything like that. We just want to make these and we want to post them on here and we think we can really add something to it. So if you know somebody or you are somebody who writes those kind of spooky entries like on Reddit and stuff, yeah, and you want your story turned into a short film, hey, let us know below. Yeah, <laughs> hit, hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, but I figured also one thing we would do um, is uh, let everyone know how they can support us. Um, we have a Patreon. Uh, it's actually linked down below in the comment section and in the description. And if you want to support us with making future SCP content, or if you want to support us with uh, this future endeavor as of right now, I understand if you can't. It's perfectly fine. But the but any support would be greatly appreciated. Like like anything at all. We would like just the fact that you're here watching this video supporting us in any way, and that's more than I could ever ask for. Thank you. like again. I can't express enough. Thank you all so much. Uh, so, what we are going to be doing, I figured what we could do is go through the comments on SCP Class R and uh, pick and choose some uh, some that have uh, struck our fancy. Let me go ahead and like uh, add the filter off here. There we go. We're going to go for uh, the newest first and uh, go back from there. So, uh, let's uh, check out uh, W Music says 6033. 75W. Uh, yeah, the music of uh, this of this film was made by uh, the Gloom Factory. Uh, that dude is awesome. Uh, he <laughs> he. Uh, when we came to him with the idea of what we wanted to do, he worked with us through the concept bit by bit. He wanted to make sure that you know he covered all the bases and everything. 
Plus, the ending theme is a theme that Jacob and I came up with. And uh, it, it it's based off of Sleep Token. Sleep Token's uh, The Offering, which uh, we we love Sleep Token. I tried to get permission from Sleep Token to use that as like the end theme, but I could never reach them. You're too them. busy becoming an incredibly huge band, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because uh, like, me and Nick jumped on the Sleep Token train way early. Nick before me, of course, but... Um, that that song I really loved it and it, I thought it really fit the ending of uh, of what we had going, but instead we made our own version that I think is stands out enough to where it's not a carbon copy of Sleep Token, but uh, yeah. So six uh, zero W on the music, yes, the music for for the for SCP Class R has been amazing and hopefully we can get a soundtrack released for it. Who knows. I mean, I'm sure Gloom will be more than happy to help us out with that. Uh, Matthew uh, Molnar1285, I very much enjoyed this. Thank you. Would like to see more. Hey, we would too. I mean, that's that's the reason why we're doing this. That's the re reason why we're here is because we want to keep going with this because I enjoyed working on this film. I, I can't express that enough. And the people we had with us were just so cool. And they've told us, like, dude, anytime you want us, we're there. And, like, the fact that they're cool about that and they're, like, super busy and, like, super, like, high quality and the fact that they loved working with us so much that they told us that is just, ugh. I think we've had, like, ten or more of them into SCP fans by yeah. recruiting them to work on this. Yeah, because I remember they were all saying, like, dude, are you going to make more of these? Because I want to see more of this. I'm like, well, SCP has over 5,000 stories. And he's like, over 5,000? Now, if it were only it's nine thousand, five thousand, exactly. If it were over nine thousand, then that meme would then that meme would be hilarious. But uh, yeah, uh, then uh, <laughs> but yeah, Matthew uh, Molnar, we want to make more of these. Uh, Magnet Design and Adver, uh, great film, pretty scary forest. Thank you, and scary white officials. Yes, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck is Chuck is an intimidating person, but. On, on camera, he's intimidating, but behind the camera, he is an absolute sweetheart. He is, he's a gem. Like he, like we, we gave him his paycheck and everything, and he literally said, "No, you guys keep it, and you put it towards the budget for, uh, for like advertising and stuff like that." I'm like, Chuck, why are you so nice, man? Why are you so cool? Uh but uh, yeah, but scary white officials send the black guy into the anomaly. Why don't you? Great acting. Feels like this should continue. Hopefully it can continue. Have you actually told the audience about, like, Marcus being cast? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the other thing, too. Because uh, like, people have made jokes about that, like, <laughs> just from the first film where he's in a jail cell and stuff, and we're like, dude, it was originally written for me to play the part. Yeah. I was just like, I don't feel confident enough to play a lead role in something yeah, like I, this, because I've never tried to act in anything that's, like, horror-related. And I was like... And he, he, basically, you talk to Marcus. And yeah, well, Marcus is a wrestler, so he's all interested in like acting type stuff. And oh yeah, so. and, and Marcus as a raw performer, uh, I could just see like like in ring him cutting promos. I could see like the believability in his eyes whenever he's like whenever he's like telling a story. Like the guy's a great a great performer all around. Plus, he actually has a kid, so he was able to play off the emotion of what if that was actually his kid that they were threatening exactly. him with and stuff. So. Exactly. So I don't yeah. have a kid, and therefore I would have had to have faked all that. So. And and that's the thing. Whenever we were writing this, I did have Nick in mind. I asked Chad, but Chad said that he uh, he would like he could do it, but he said I should probably ask Marcus because you know, and that's how it came to be. And, uh, you know, everyone's just... I know there are people who are going to say stuff about it. They can all they want. At the end of the day, we cast the best person that we could for the part. And I have no regrets about it. Marcus is tremendous. And he deserves all the praise that he gets for this performance. And then some. Uh, but uh, Joseph uh, Rittenhouse says, nicely done. Thank you, Joseph Rittenhouse. <laughs> uh, user Dr. 277, Class R. Do you mean Class B? No, uh, but not he, in this case. Well, he was corrected by King Philip II Melendez. Uh, uh, class R is a new type of Class D, so they made a film. So here's the here's the kicker. I know some of you may not have noticed this, but if you actually dig into the film itself, uh, if you actually look in the description, in the description we actually have a full descriptor as to what Class R is. 
we give a little synopsis about like what's going on and we give uh like what the objective of class r is here in the description so you can check it out there if you're if you have more questions and you're actually wanting to know because i know that you know watching uh you know the offer and class r and if you don't if you know if you haven't got that uh, it's right there in the description so y'all can feel free uh plus all the credits of all the people we worked with from marcus all the way down to brian and at uh, bridgeport design studios even uh, including my disembodied voice oh yeah even <laughs> nick, yeah even nick is the disembodied voice which we had him record that i remember when we had had you record that i was just like yes it sounds so good <laughs> and then jacob adding the effects layers on top of it it was awesome uh but yeah. i actually have my own fan question by the way because oh, sure. i have Go a question ahead. about something i didn't realize before what's up? just recently uh did you name the agent skinner because of x-files <laughs> yes <Okay>. actually <laughs> did nate do that as a direct reference to name chuck's character skinner or? yes that's actually that's actually uh two references uh skinner is a reference to x files whereas myers is a reference to halloween yeah because uh, agent myers who is the bigger of the two the more imposing figure and skinner who is the like the, the bureaucrat who basically holds all the cards that's like that's what I had in mind for both of them, and while my while my character is imposing and can be very imposing, he actually is like he actually is like endearing and actually does want to help Marcus out. Everything's a tribute. There's actually small little tidbits of stuff in there that people haven't noticed yet, and I'm just waiting for someone to come along and be like, "Wait a minute! Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that!" Like there's it's hit it's sprinkled all throughout, so keep your eyes open. Gary Jules says, I've seen a lot of these SCP videos online and this one has the best plot. Directing actors is a practice gift, but it's equally as hard to come up with a compelling plot. The real star of this is Marcus. I agree. He really made the whole piece stand out. Great work. I'm excited for the next one. Thank you, Gary Jules. I'm sure Marcus will be very, very happy to hear that. If he hasn't already seen your comment already. Uh, Briosification? I, I can't pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Bre Briosification, yeah. <clears throat> Congrats, great job. Construct uh, some constructive uh, critique. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure most of the budget, uh, most are due to budget constraints, but nonetheless, uh, it could be helpful. Uh, overall, if over it overall needed more close-up shots, a couple of establishing shots, just to really enhance the uncanny nature of the door in the forest. Maybe showing a completely empty room with just a door. Him inspecting the frame a bit, writing it was great, if not a bit too cumbersome. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't think the briefing on what was on the other side was really necessary. It could have been reduced to, your task is simple, walk through the door, drop one of the survey devices every couple of yards when you run out, return to make sure you have all of your equipment. Uh, a couple of yards, uh, what are exactly on the other side of the door? Uh, it's going to be a, uh, nothing, uh, nothing for you to worry about. Just do as you're told. Don't ask questions. You'll be fine. Nate, you want to try and deliver more confidently and relax? Yeah, I was, I was trying to, like, here's the thing. We did multiple takes and Jake told me to like deliver it more like this, you know, more intense, more endearing, more the, and, and he mixed and matched up, uh, a lot of them. Some of them do come off a little bit like, like I'm trying to force it. And I really wish we could have had more time to shoot, but we were under a really like limited crunch time with our uh, close-up shot days, and uh, for the one reshoot day that we had to like get the shots that we were missing and everything like that. So yeah, um, I get your characters a bit unsure of themselves and really isn't in control. It's just in front of the camera, it comes across as uh, less sincere. Near the end, I needed someone to say, "Sir, we finished analyzing." Uh, if needed someone coming in and say, sir, we finished analyzing the audio. Yeah, well, we didn't have Roan that day. I think he was busy when we were filming that scene with uh, me and uh, Chuck at the end. And um, I really wish Roan could have been there to come in and tell me that. Because that was his voice. We got his voice for it. But yeah. Also, the antagonist was really good. He 100% sold it. Yes, he did. Tr uh, Chuck is Chuck is awesome. Are you serious? Oh gosh. Okay. Here's the thing. 
I've got, okay, New Wave 6404, didn't know Donald Trump's long-lost brother was an actor. Of course, an <laughs> obvious reference to Chuck. Here's the problem. Not only that, but we've got, like, Chuck is just like, bro kind of looked like Joe Biden, said user RY1 in it. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, does he look like Biden or does he look like Trump? I don't know. Maybe both. It's Both, I, both, both is good. Both is good, yeah. <laughs> both is good. Creepy old man. That's... Oh, he looks gosh. like an old politician or something. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the point. Yeah. Okay, and then Tony Anderson writes, brother went into a full kung fu stance. <laughs> he did. Well, Marcus, okay, Marcus uh, Marcus is a, like, practice, he's a well-seasoned taekwondo practitioner, and he's also, like, he's just an all-around, like, tremendous athlete and a tremendous, like, like, f- like just person. He, he just, he, and he absorbs so much, so many things so quickly and he's as tough as they come, man. I've seen that dude get thrown off of structures. I've seen the dude like almost break his leg trying to do moves and like dude dude fractured his ankle in the middle of a match getting suplexed into a truck bed and he went on and finished the match and after the match was over, he started like like yelling for someone to come and get him to carry him out of the ring cuz his ankle was just like shot. He couldn't walk out of the ring. And that's just how dedicated he is. Casper Kesmeric, uh, great job. I hope there will be more exciting videos like this. I do too. Dr. JJX Animations, an absolutely amazing short film. Loved every second of uh, watching this. He loved it so much, he wrote it twice. He, he it, The comment double posted. Ah, and it seems we have someone in here uh, who is... Uh, Korean. Korean. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Let's uh, translate. Uh, no. Okay, so... I saw this on a channel promoting videos in Korea. Please make more SCP videos in the future. Oh, I will, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. The fact that you know this has got such a reach that we've reached Korea is awesome. Um, that's very dope. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> so cool. Oh, Rio7 uh, underscore 7. Kind of cringe, but the rest made up for it. Eh, what's a little cringe going to hurt? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, there was also someone here asking, what SCP is it? We actually list the SCP... In the credits, you know, Creative Commons, you know, as we're supposed to with all SCP content. This is SCP-860, the blue key. So if you all want to look that up, you can. Also, Markiplier did a playthrough on one of the SCP games, and he ran into SCP-860, and I believe it killed him. So, uh, yeah, Marcus got farther than Markiplier, so... mm. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we uh, chose this one because that was my favorite one. So yes. I originally pitched the idea of taking some of the SCP entries and making the video segments of those into, like, short videos. And then they had the idea of, like, well, we could go further and actually, like, make a new story with some of the favorite SCPs. So I was like, if you guys want to write something like that, that'd be cool. Absolutely. Yeah. 860 uh, is my favorite entry I've seen. Like, I really like The Plague Doctor, too. But... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. SCP of Kosovo... The way they just 45. casually show uh, the face of SCP-096. No, no, no. And I corrected him. It's an artistic interpretation of SCP-096. An analyst gave his life for that. Because <laughs> anyone who sees SCP-096's face, they die. Uh, that's just that's just how it is. But SCP-096... Well, eventually when he gets to them. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. SCP-096, it's an artistic interpretation. It's not an actual picture of of SCP-096. Now, if it were an actual picture, you know, including, like, X amount of pixels... God, four fucking pixels. That's all it took. What's the difference between Class D personnel and Class R personnel? Check the description, and it'll explain everything. Well, not everything. Well, okay, not everything, because we got to keep some stuff that, under... That, under that's wrap. kind of the idea, is, mm. like, we're sort of telling through what we're showing what Class R might be. Yes, uh, but it, people might not pick up like from just the first episode exactly what they're going for, but it should become more apparent if we get to make more of these. <laughs> so, okay. Ambassador 8524, more please. Absolutely. Uh, also, Ambassador made a comment, why is the old white guy always the villain? Maybe reality. because... <laughs> well, maybe because they're just, like, they're, they just make great villains. It's like... Why are all the classic villains? Why do they all have a British accent? Because it sounds freaking awesome, and you and you take them seriously, especially when there's like it's like yes, of course, I planned for you to be here, so now I will kill you. 
Class Rambo is real, guys. <laughs> well, basically, yeah. I mean, that's... I guess that's kind of the point. Uh, man, I remember the horrors of walking through SCP-860 in Containment Breach. Yes. We actually are going to elaborate more and, like, breach into the lore of uh, uh, SCP Containment Breach with our upcoming uh, interview segments that we're going to be doing. Uh, oh, I love this one. User <laughs> SCH, SC, or SH8. Uh, when low-budget YouTube fan fiction films match the quality of major Hollywood productions. That's a high compliment. That is a great compliment. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Matter of fact, I'm going to love that one. Yeah, I, that one deserves that one deserves a love and a like. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Bloodbox four thousand. Hey, just wanted to know what is the song at the end credits of the video? That's actually the custom song that we talked about earlier that me and Jacob made. Hey, you should upload that to this channel. Maybe I should just by itself. Well, and that's the thing. Jake and I are like wanting to like redo a little bit of it because there's some parts of it I really want to hammer out before I really feel comfortable releasing it. But yeah, I I can definitely do that. Plus, maybe we can talk to uh, Gloom Factory about putting together a soundtrack for us and uh, like making a soundtrack uh, available for you all to download and enjoy at your own leisure. I know an excellent name idea for it, too. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay, that's, that's cool with me. Uh, and now we're getting into the comments that I've already like hearted and all that. Uh, excellent work, says Zisamo38. Uh, Thank you. Uh, when's the second episode coming out? We're aiming for later this year. Hopefully, if, you know, we can get enough of a budget put together. Um, yeah, that's, that's something that I really want to try. Love seeing black, at, uh, black actor get their chance. Marcus does amazing, and I commented on that, Marcus does amazing work. Happy to shine a light on him, because he deserves it. And, uh, yeah, there was a decent budget for this. There was. It was a, it was a fairly good budget, but I know we could have had more. But, uh, yeah, so I've commented and, uh, you know, hearted a lot of these comments that have, uh, people, that people have made. So those are the most recent ones. So, um, if you all have any comments or questions that you all want to raise to us on this video, feel free to, uh, comment that down below because we'd love to hear what you all have to say. Uh, we would also love to hear your, uh, comments on whether or not, you know, you would want to see us do more short stuff uh, akin to like creepy story readings and stuff like that, but actually told through live action. Uh, and also we would love to see, I'd love to know what uh, you all would like to see in the future from us in terms of SCP content, because hey, this is a whole new thing for us and we're we're willing to uh, jump in head first. I mean, uh, y'all saw like our first shot out the bow was like the offer and then class R, so we're wanting to take this seriously. We are, and uh, we hope that you all will come on the journey with us. Uh, and if you all want to support us in any way, any support that you can offer to us will it be greatly appreciated uh, through our Patreon, which I there are links. It, it'll be the first thing you see in the comment section and the first thing you see in the description. So thank you all again so much. Uh, but I think that's going to do it. We've uh, we've been yammering enough. I think we've uh, uh, gone over enough comments and. Uh, espoused enough information unto you so if you all enjoyed and uh you know want to see more from us you know just let us know and of course uh don't be afraid to comment don't be afraid to you know leave a like on the video if you it, you know it really helps us out a lot it, it helps you know get our videos out there and everything and again i cannot state this enough thank you all so much for everything that you've done for the more than 2800 subscribers i think let's see we are currently at 2,867 subscribers, and we have over, like I said, over 64,000 views on SCP Class R. This has just been such a roller coaster for us, and the fact that it's been released and it's getting this much love, thank you all so much. Oh, and thank you again to everybody who's reacted to it as well. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, Sherman, Rick, Old Man, dude, and also a uh, big shout out to uh, Ecomog or Struggle Nation. Uh, M Dog, y'all like y'all are the y'all are awesome. Chicago reacts as well, and anyone else who wants to react to it, I mean, feel free to. We are we more we are more than happy to take in anything you all have to say, any criticisms, any praise. We are more than happy to take it in. Uh, we just want to hear what people have to say about it. But anyway, I guess uh, that's gonna do it for this one. So thank you again, everybody. Really cannot stress that enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Be good people. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.